Well, I say you, 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 you hear me? <laughs> that's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's how we say it in French. Uh, nothing to report about, really. So Kisumu, so far, so good. That it is what we have. Okay. Um, let's take a look at what you have on the front page. Before we continue, uh, I don't know what you have with you uh, All right. Vida, on the front page of the paper that you have. Mm -hmm. All right, if I may just begin, I am having this standard this morning and um, the cost of being Kenyan, that is their top headline and from birth to death, Kenyans will now pay more not only to be citizens but also to sustain themselves owing to the increased cost of acquiring important documents like the birth and death certificates plus identi uh, identification cards such as the ID and passport. And if I may just... Um, get deeper into it just to get to see how much you will be parting with right now. Uh, beginning with the national ID, which used to previ previously was free of charge to register and get a national ID in this country, but right now uh, it will cost you 300 shillings to get your national ID. If you get, happen to lose it, uh, replacing your ID will now cost you a thousand bob and previously it was only 100 shillings. And uh, with the uh, birth certificate and death certificate is 200 shillings. Um, respectively uh, previously it used to be 50 shillings and um, there's a, the proposed ones as well that haven't yet been passed into law but probably will be passed um, uh, pretty soon that is if you want to do a land search previously it used to be 500 shillings and now it will be 2,000 shillings not yet passed into law it is proposed uh, replacing your logbook will be 10,000 Kenyan shillings also proposed from 2,500 shillings drivers license a thousand shillings from 500 shillings and you know um, for you to get a new passport right now the 34 page passport it has been passed into law it will be 7,500 shillings from 4,500 shillings so clearly Kenyans will be digging deep into our pockets as Kenyans will need to dig deep into our pockets and um, there's a sample payslip here uh, that uh, just shows how much deduction we will be uh, having to um, go through, you know, for the people who are salaried, people who um, uh, receive their payslips. And um, for someone who gets a gross of 30,000 Kenyan shillings, by the end of uh, the month, they should be getting... 26,000 Kenyan shillings. That is after the house levy deduction, NHIF, SHIF, and so on. And for someone who gets 50,000 Kenyan shillings gross, will be parting and going home with, uh, or rather will be going home with 39,160 um, shillings. Clearly, um, we'll have to be digging way deeper into our pockets. Things are not looking too good, but... This is where we are. I, I, I'm sure that everyone is feeling the pinch and will be feeling the pinch. So that is what is on the top page of the standard and that page is on uh, page three of the standard. Another story here that um, is on the top page. We have a picture of the president and the first lady of the Republic of Kenya in a church setup. Um, they're being prayed for. And uh, on this, this um, they've quoted um, uh, what President Ruto said uh, during um, um, a church service right, that was yesterday in Eldoret. And if I may quote him, he said, I know we have a situation with our doctors and interns. I want to implore them that it is important for us as a nation to agree that we must live within our means. We cannot continue to spend the money we do not have. And, um, yeah, that is a story that is on the standard. One more story that I may um, want to touch on before I let Migwe tell us what is on the star is Raila gets a new job boost in West Africa tour. That story is on page five. And um, 
Ruto's West Africa trip boosts Raila's AU candidacy and forge, um, forges trade pacts. Now, Guinea-Bissau um, endorsement uh, comes shortly after Angola and Ghana also threw their support behind uh, former Prime Minister. Kenya and Guinea-Bissau have also agreed to increase the low trade volumes between them. So things are looking up for um, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga uh, when it comes to, or rather in regards to the AU candidacy. Uh -huh. What's on the star, Mike? Well, the star is talking about this state malls, Kalenjins and Kikuyu's jobs cap. Hiring skewed to favor major ethnic groups while some communities underrepresented. That story is carried on page four and five of this star. And just to peruse through what it's saying, the Public Service Commission is seeking to stop ministries and state departments and agencies from recruiting dominant tribes until an optimum ethnic balance is achieved. There's a, a tabulation that is uh, showing the ethnic composition in public service. And just to go through some of the, uh, some of the numbers in the table, uh, the Kikuyu are taking up 20.5% and also the Kalenjin, the 17.3%. That is just some of the... <coughs> tabulation that is being displayed on the fifth page of this star talking about how government aims to freeze the hiring of Kikuyus and Kalijins probably just to have uh, a balanced face of the nation in terms of job uh, or hiring. Another story carried on um, <coughs> the front page of this star newspaper Ruto striking to striking those doctors. We must live within our means. That is also a story that has been highlighted by Vivian. And um, the president is asking striking doctors to resume work and accept what the government has offered to hire intern doctors. Ruto said the country does not have the resources to raise wages for its workers. He said the country must manage within its available resources instead of resorting to borrowing to pay salaries. You will find that story on page 9 of this star newspaper. There's another story here uh, that is talking about Auditor General uh, Gadogo flags 2.2 billion used as fuel levy, levy administration costs. She says no justification for including costs in pump price buildup. Auditor General has questioned the 2.2 billion spent by the Energy and Petro Petroleum Ministry as administration costs for the fuel levy, the amount was paid in period ended June 30th, 2023, putting the energy PS and energy and petroleum regulatory, uh, regulatory authorities bosses on the spotlight. You'll find that story on page six of uh, this star uh, newspaper. Kalonzo says country needs prayers to end doctor's strike. The Weeper leader has called on has called for prayers to unlock the stalemate that has seen the doctors keeping off health centers for the third week in a row. He has called on re religious leaders to, pay for the to pray for the country so that the standoff between uh, the government and doctors can come to an end. You'll find that story on page 7 of the Star newspaper. We are a free country says Gashagua. Gashagua tells Kenyans in Rwanda, President Rigad Gashagua was speaking as he held Kenya's, Kenya's advanced political tolerance, saying Kenyans freely criticize him and even say he has not gone <laughs> to school. Mm -hmm. Deputy President. Deputy is, President, is, yes. Yeah. That, is, that is what he's saying, what Kenyans or say about him. Okay. <laughs> that is why he's saying we are a free country. Victor, right. what's happening on your side? Absolutely. And you see, one um, um, interesting thing is that while the deputy president was speaking in Rwanda, he yes. said that the country is safe and called upon um, Kenyans living in the diaspora to 
um, invest in the country. Mm -hmm. The president on the other side in Rift Valley was saying that there is no money to pay doctors. So, uh, confusing, right? Okay, yeah. let's take a look at what you have on the front page of the People Daily very quickly. Uh, talk of money, Ruto. I have no cash for doctors. That is what you have here on the front page of the People Daily Ruto. I have no money for uh, cash for doctors. Um, in a move that could add pain to patients, Adamant President tells medics to go back to work saying that his administration cannot meet their demands. That is on the front page of the People Daily. And remember, the strike continues for the 25th day today and the doctors are saying that uh, until the demands are met they'll not go back to work he was uh, yesterday speaking during a sunday service here on the front page of the people daily again still on the front page of the people daily uh transporters accused brewer of chasing away their key jobs parliament told that uh, kbl has contracted foreign companies to offer services this is what you have here on the front page of the people daily and uh, again what we are here we are crippled cries land team we are crippled cries land team that is on the front page of the people daily again the story for the president and uh, as per the doctors we're just waiting to see because the president also said that they have a meeting coming later on this month to talk about the issue of um, uh, cost of living and uh, he said that uh, our GDP must come down to some significant figure that currently what the country is spending on is a huge amount of money to pay salaries and wages. And so there must be a conference for that. And uh, that is what you have on the front page of the People Daily. Um, I don't have money for doctors. I don't know what we have here on page five of the same uh, newspaper. But yeah, I'll get back to that very shortly. Uh, people they least be having today here. We're Tangula. Once Natembea over criticism, there have been uh, uh, Mike and uh, Vivian. You've had a lot of back and forth in as far as politics is concerned mm -hmm. uh, between <laughs> Governor Natembea and uh, Speaker Moses Tangula. And the other day, uh, uh, Natembea said that the only difference they have is because of ideologies, and there's nothing personal. But uh, if you hear them speak. Mm. Um, <laughs> it's a matter of life and death. But somebody Sounds said that it has to be a matter personal. of life. <laughs> 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 it's like the, the way Mswahili alisema, kila mwamba ngozi huvuta kwa. Exactly. So uh, everyone is trying to justify their position. Yeah. Mm. Yes. So it's, it's politics. I think Kenyans, we consume politics too much. We actually yes. do consume politics We do consume politics. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So um, it's, it's quite interesting that Mike can also, you know, some... <laughs> Um, <laughs> how do you call them? Uh, Fungo. Msemo. Msemo. Hey, 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 okay. So, Ford Kenya leader says that governors frequent attacks paint community in bad light and will adversely derail their 2027 political ambitions. Where Tangula spoke yesterday while leading a fans drive at Bulimbo Catholic Church in Kakamega, he said that Natembea sustained attacks on him and Prime Minister Secretary Musale Mudavadi were reducing confidence according to the, uh, accorded to the community in the country. Um, somebody said that this is siblings' rivalry. Mm. You know, siblings' rivalry. Uh, it was also in the Bible, you know, uh, when uh, brothers had to fight. Yeah. You know? So this is what it is. I don't know who is going to win at this particular point. Well, uh, let's wait and see. Time will tell. It's a, yeah. Time will tell. Yeah. So there's nothing new under the sun, yeah. so to speak. Especially yeah. when it comes to Kenyan politics. Yeah. I mean, this is where we are. Uh, yeah. Brothers fighting uh, amongst themselves. So this is, in as far as politics is concerned, um, TS has four relatives who died in Shakahola starvation cult buried. Um, the government started to release the bodies of uh, the victims who uh, their uh, DNA had been worked on and now uh, they usually uh, many people have now started to collect bodies of their, uh, of their loved ones okay. for uh, final rights uh, as per their culture and traditions and of course the exercise will continue on and on and on. It was one of those disturbing um, things that we actually faced sometimes last year yes. and we just hope that it's not going to continue mm -hmm. moving forward. All right, so that is as far as this concerned. Um, let's take a look at what you have here on the front page again. Uh, this is, uh, you can't catch us on, uh, on, on X. This is real time, you see that? This is where we are, so it's real time. 
Uh, you can take a look at uh, Channel One. Of course, uh, you see the four musketeers, not even three. Uh, we have got. Uh, look how we are serious, by the way. <laughs> who is that? <laughs> yeah. There's only one man who is uh, good looking here. Silence. What? I love well. that silence. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> but you can also follow us on um, Instagram. Uh, and again, the most important news again today, the president will be in West Court again um, for the opening of the <coughs> Semtech Sebit Clink plant uh, that is also meant to end the shortage of the commodity in Kenya. That is uh, by uh, Devki Group. The president will be opening uh, that officially and would imagine how that's going to open the economic front in that particular region. There we have it. Um, you'd imagine West Pokot is associated with a lot of cattle rustling and yeah. all, what have you. But mm -hmm. once we have such kind of an investment, mm -hmm. it's a 40 uh, is it 45 billion, 49 billion shillings worth of investment? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, let's talk about this briefly, Vivian and Mike. Mm -hmm. You would imagine pumping that money to that region, which mm -hmm. means drivers are going to get jobs. Yes. We have got you know, workers, casual yes. laborers, yes. plant operators, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Let's talk about it, Vivian. Mm -hmm. What do you make of this? I, I feel like it's a really good um, decision yes. um, to get to pump such an amount into a region that as you as you've mentioned it's known for cattle rusting and just arrest when it comes to security matters mm -hmm. you know so um <coughs> seeing that the government is looking to do something on those areas it's a good thing and uh, you know pumping such an amount will mean that um the economy in that area will also be boosted yeah. so i feel like it's 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 a it's a good way. Mm. It's a good way to um to do things, mm. you know. Especially given an area that is known for things of uh, banditry and, mm. and such. Yeah. This is a good move in such that it, besides creating people are going to get um, busy doing constructive things, mm -hmm. mm. and not only is it providing uh, providing jobs, it's opening up that area to more investment. Yeah, so right. how this pans out will be a precursor of. Um, what to expect in the future in the future in terms of job creation and opportunities for the people in in West Pokot mm. Mm. yes absolutely mm -hmm. and of course now we all expect that uh, a majority of people who are going to be employed almost a substantial um, figure will be uh, area residents there yes. to yeah. get those jobs so yes. an opportunity has come up mm -hmm. residents for West Pokot and Kapinguria Please take up that. All right, let me take you through the front page of the Daily Nation. This is what you have. I have a hard copy here of the Daily Nation. The front page of the Daily Nation says that Uhuru's political traitors, Uhuru's political traitors, that is what's on the splash of the Daily Nation. Uhuru's political traitors, Mr. Kenyatta, had a falling out, a fallout with President Ruto. He is then deputy in the run-up to the 2022 polls. That is what is here. And uh, his uh, Daily Nation has gone ahead to give an elaborate kind of what really happened during his tenure. And now, let me take you through very quickly. But, uh, former President Uru Kenyatta has rekindled the politics of betrayal in the country after launching a scathing attack on unnamed traitors in the political scene. This comes as Azimio leader Raila Odinga, who he backed in the last polls against his then deputy. President William Ruto has started working with Dr. William Ruto, who is even spearheading his bid for the African Commission's chairperson seat. So, politi Uhuru's political traitors, this is what you have on the front page of the Daily Nation, in as far as this is concerned. <coughs> Interesting times, politically speaking, in this country. Um, Kenya without politics in a day is, so to speak, is a boring day. <laughs> it's a boring day. Yeah. Um, so that is as far as on the front page of the Daily Nation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very quickly, um, what happened or across our borders? Let me just take you. Uh, you can also download actually uh, the app. This is KBC app. You can download go to Google Play as well as Play Store and. Um, Download the app and you can watch and listen live to your favorite station or watch us live on KBC here. Uh, for example, we refuse to be uh, scapegoats for wage bill deduction. This is according to the striking doctors. Uh, you have that. Uh, KMPDU, we refuse to be scapegoats for wage bill reduction. This is on the KBC app. Everything that you want to listen to, podcast, sports, and everything else. The 
strike continues on this particular day. All right, crossing over very quickly on to the front page of the France 24. What's happening across the world? This is Gaza ceasefire talks in Cairo uh, makes significant progress. Uh, Gaza's something which is good for the world. Um, talks in Cairo aimed at brokering a truce between Israel and Hamas in the Gaza Strip have made quote-unquote significant progress. According to Egyptian outlet Al Qahira reported uh, today, the state linked outlet reported that uh, there is some significant progress being made on several contentious uh, points of agreement, citing a high rank ranking Egyptian source. I think this is going to be the something that is going to be welcomed by the whole world. So, this is what we have Ukraine nuclear plant drone again. Uh, Ukraine, UN body urges strain after. Zaporizhia nuclear plant. Mm -hmm. Zaporizhia, I, I think I got it right. Uh, that is what we have here on the front page of uh, the BBC. And finally, this is what we have. Arsenal won uh, their last game. And that's as far as sports is concerned. So just a few matches to go. Mm -hmm. Mike, you don't have a team, so relax. At least Vivian and I can talk about something. Um, we have got Wolves again on April. We have still matches with Chelsea. Arsenal will be playing with Bournemouth, Everton. And most of these games will be at home. Um, believe you me, it's going to be a good day in office for Arsenal fans. That is as far as that's concerned. So what are the fixtures? Let me give you what is uh, the table looking like. Uh, yes, uh, the table... But Mike, believe you me, mm -hmm. it's not easy, as you may think, uh, well, for, for Arsenal fans that we've been going for all those years without winning a, team, a, a league. Ni miaka iliyoliwa na nzige. Okay. So it's, it's <laughs> going to be... Yeah. <laughs> miaka iliyoliwa yeah. na nzige. Zile miaka ziliyoliwa na nzige. Zile iliyoliwa na nzige. Uh -huh. They will be returned. Yes. Tenfold. Yes. yes. So this is what we have, and uh, as far as that is concerned, Arsenal is still leading. I'm going to give you that fixture pretty fast. I don't know what's happening. But uh, yes, uh, there we have it. Okay. So in as far as the what were uh, Chelsea are concerned, you really have nothing to worry about because he, Manda. <laughs> okay. Where are we now? <laughs> there we go. So the table looks like this one. Mm -hmm. In as far as the EPL table is concerned, um, Arsenal is leading with 71 points, but of course they have got a goal difference, superior goal difference, and Liverpool is number two with 75, 71 points, 31 games played, and superior goal difference. So, Tukosawa, okay. elephant. Yeah. And I feel like just before we, we go to the uh, yes. for the break, mm -hmm. um, I just have a quick one. Which games are you playing in high school? Game or games? I or played handball, okay. hockey, and drama. Okay. I was a goalkeeper number five in hockey. Maybe. And I also played for I was in, handball. in yes. a school band and I was in the school choir. Buana Sifio. We asked about sports, bro. I did not no, play no, sports. Anyway. No, no wonder you have some, some. I played volleyball <laughs> and now the national games, the national yeah. school games have begun. They're beginning yes. in Machakos. Yes. And we will be looking into that. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're taking a break. But when we come back, Mike Migui, you're going to have that discussion. Yes. How well do you celebrate? your heroes and heroines in the country. Mm. Um, do you celebrate them when they yeah. still have time? Mm -hmm. And how do you celebrate them? Mm -hmm. Do you applaud them? Do you make them feel um, worth their services to the country? Mm -hmm. Or what are they going to be? Or you're still waiting for that silent moment, then you say so and so did this, this and that. Mm -hmm. This is the time to celebrate heroes and heroines. And Mike Migui is going to have an amazing discussion on that, yeah. celebrating heroes and heroines, most importantly, in the religious sector. Yes. Interesting, right? Let's take a break. Yeah. We'll be right back with more. See you with us.